Hey guys, welcome back to the Makeup Loft. My name is Becky, if you guys haven't met me before, and today we'll be talking about, well not really talking, well yeah, we'll be talking, but um, I'll be showing, I'll be going through, how do I say it? So, so today I'll be doing a nice bold eyeshadow look and also showing you guys how I do my wing liner. A lot of people have been asking me how I do it. Today is the day, people. Today is the day. I have different methods, but we'll see how we go and I'll show you my tips and tricks as well. So let's get started. Obviously you guys are wondering what's up, what's up for my eyes, it's just an eye primer. So we're gonna go back in with my favorite palettes, the City Mini Palettes. And it's this one here. So I'll be going through those two shades and just blending them in and seeing how it turns out. <laughs> going in with a nice fluffy brush, I'm just gonna be going in with that initial shade. Then going back in with that darker shade. You don't want to go too crazy because then you'll end up with an unwanted smoky eye if you're not going for it. Now I'm going to go in with another City Mini palette. This palette right here with an even more detailed brush and I'm gonna go in with that dark shade just right there and I'm just gonna concentrate right in my crease I'm pretty sure you guys already kind of know how this whole eyeshadow game goes but I'm just showing you guys how I do it the best thing about these mini palettes is that they're nice, they're compact, and they have like a lot of vibrant shades in them. They're usually six. I just love traveling with them. I like popping them in my bag when I'm going to work, knowing that I'm gonna be going out for drinks or you know, going out to socialize, just a way to like easily turn my look around. Now with one of the most vibrant city mini palettes, I'm going in with this teal shade right here. Yes. Hmm. I usually don't go like bold, bold, but like when I'm ready to go bold, I go bold. So now going in with a tattoo liner, and I'll be going in with the color Deep Teal, and it's a darker version of the teal color I put on. I'll be putting that right in my crease just to add a little bit more depth. So we're gonna go in with the wing liner. I'll be showing you the method I'll be using for this look just to see how it comes out. Now let's see how it comes out. So the wing liner I'll be using today is the Master Precise All Day. And the best thing about this liner is that it gives crazy precision. Like the felt tip, I don't know if you guys can see it. But the felt tip is so fine and these are usually my favorite kinds of tips to use. If you can see that your eyeliner is getting sloppier as time goes on, it's time to get a new one. Sometimes just because the ink's running out, the lines will not be as precise. It's kind of like using a texture. A sharpie, same thing. The lines are not as sharp. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on the inside. Sometimes people, I start on the outside, but when it comes to a look where I really want it to be symmetrical, it's starting on the inside because our eyes can't really determine the symmetry from the outside but from the inside it's much easier because they're closer to see closer together and once you start from the inside the same shape it automatically takes you up you know what I'm just gonna show you and then it'll make a lot of sense I start on the inside and I make sure I'm pointing I'm looking down so that I can really see that shape as to looking straight in the mirror I can't really see that. It's kind of like when you put your eyelashes on, it's the same situation. Eyeliner 
and eyebrows shouldn't be twins, they should be sisters, sometimes cousins, but you know what I mean. And then once I've gotten to that point where it's about to curve, the moment of truth, <laughs> I just go off where my my top lid and my, my lower lash and my top my lower lash and my top lash mat. I've never really had to explain this to this degree. Where the top lash and the bottom lash meet is where I start now connecting the line. So I just draw a small line right here. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can really see it. And I start with just that small connection. I try and do the full bold look the whole way. It's just too risky. Russian roulette. I draw it all the way to the end and then slowly keep adding layers and layers and thickening it until it meets that initial line that we had here. And usually to have a really nice or really sharp tip, I don't try and draw it out too much. I kind of sketch it. I just feel like that's a great way to start. If, if, you're, if your hands are shaky, just doing little swipes is much easier than trying to hold that straight line all the way through to the end. I'm just going to go in and add extra details just to really complete the look. My inner corner highlight. I'm going to go in with one of the City Mini palettes and it's that shimmer palette. Go in with that shade. It's one of my favorite ones. I use it all the time. And then to really just this look, I'm going to go in with my, with the master liner in the color black. And it's this one. I'm not sure if it's going to focus. Voila! All done! This look is popping. Like, I'm so excited. I'm also with the eyeliner. I think it's popping. It's a popping. In. I just feel like I can hit the red Z, if you know what I mean. Red carpet. Yes. Definitely one of my favorites. And I hope you guys like it as well. So, if you guys like this look, Definitely make sure you subscribe down below, share, and also follow on Instagram. Yes, so see you later.